Okay, 2.3 says, explain qualitatively that pitch is related to frequency in volume to amplitude. So, what I'd like you to do is, with this slide here, is underline the, the last four dot points of this slide, where it says low frequency, high frequency, large amplitude, and small amplitude. So, basically, is if we've got a low frequency, which is um, in the, on the bottom diagram on the right, where it has one hertz, we're going to have a low pitch. If you have a high frequency, which is the top diagram, you're going to have um, a higher pitch. Okay. Now, amplitude is when the when a wave of a wave is the distance that the particle in a medium is displaced from its rest position. So it's either crest or the trough. So that distance. So if that distance is larger, you're going to have a larger sound. If you're going to have a smaller amplitude, you're going to have a softer sound. I don't have a diagram on this slide that demonstrates that. But basically, you can draw one yourself um, as a fourth diagram. I've got there on the slide definitions of what frequency and amplitude are, if we have uh, forgotten what those terms mean. Okay. Basically, the last four dot points is um, key to this slide um, to understand that how frequency and pitch is related and amplitude and sound are related.